Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. Uh, we're looking at a message today called The Forgiveness of God. And uh, it's good to see you. So, uh, let's pray. Father God, we come before you today. And we confess our sin and our failure in the wickedness of our own hearts and dear God we pray for your forgiveness today and your cleansing and Father we pray as we look to your word that you will bless and Father I pray for the Holy Spirit to be in this message I pray that you take the words and apply it to our hearts and I pray Lord that we would draw close to you through these words in your name and for your glory Amen. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, if you like to turn to your Bible and um, I remember training with um, <clears throat> some missionaries in Ireland and staying with them and the mother of one of the missionaries um, was going out for shopping and asked the son who was in his twenties to make sure the chicken was okay because the chicken was in the cooker cooking but anyhow, when she went out with her husband, the young man asked me uh, to make sure the chicken was okay. But I went and fell asleep that afternoon. And when the parents came back, there was smoke in the kitchen. And there was um, an almighty shouting from the mother to the son saying why didn't you look after the chicken um, and the point is that I felt very guilty because I'd let everybody down we all can feel guilt at times in our lives for whatever reason the question is how can we be forgiven and that is what we're looking at today so if you turn to Psalm 51 we read have mercy on me O God according to thy loving kindness according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin for I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight that thou mightst be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest behold I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts thou shalt make me to know wisdom purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean wash me and I shall be whiter than snow Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities, creating me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors the ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from bugless, O God. Thou God of my salvation and my tongue will sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. 
the sacrifice of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy pleasure unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering, whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar. So that's what we're looking at today. Um, I'm just doing some Bible studies today and a few videos and then that's it then. Um, I'm going to spend um, time just doing stuff that I want to do. Um, um, but I just want to get some Bible studies out of the way today. And maybe a few other videos. Uh, if you want to know what I'm doing in the next few weeks and months ahead, this is the channel to come to Lollard Preachers. So pass the word around. King David, in the context of this psalm, should have been in battle, should have been in the Christian life, as it were, but he, he should have been at war. But he stayed at home, and as he stayed at home, he was on a rooftop, and he looked over, and he saw Bathsheba, and there she was married, and she was married to Uriah, so he sent Uriah off to war, knowing that Uriah was going to get killed, and then he had his wicked way. David had his wicked way with Bathsheba.